Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and in today's video I'm continuing with the Matplotlib tutorial series for beginners by showing you how you can plot several points using Matplotlib. So as usual, I'll put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start from where we left off in the previous video. So in the previous video, I showed you how you can plot X and Y and plot a simple line. So I'll just put here a simple line from the previous video and hopefully you'll be following this tutorial series. If not, don't worry, um, I'm going to be doing it chunk by chunk. So what I'm going to say now is plotting several points in matplotlib. Okay. Now for the ease of this, I'm just going to comment out the previous code that I've used just so it doesn't interfere with anything that we do today. So I'll add some lines down here and we'll move on to plotting several points in matplotlib. So this is very similar to what we did in the previous video and I'll just show you how it works. So we're going to create a new variable. We're going to choose x and y again uh, just because we won't be using these ones up here. So we're going, to, we're going to create a numpy array again but this time instead of just 0, 100 we're going to input certain numbers in here. So let's say 30, 13, well 12, I accidentally put 12, uh, 56 and 19 and then 100. Perfect. We're going to do the same for y. We're going to create a numpy create a numpy array and we're going to say okay let's have 40, 72, 80, 13, 17, 39. Okay and then we'll do very similar to what we did before we're going to say plt.plot x and y remember whatever argument we put in first is x and whatever argument we put in is y so x-axis y-axis and then we're going to do the plt.show because that's very important we need to show what we've plotted so let's run this and hopefully we'll get a very interesting plot wow that is very interesting indeed yeah very very interesting so you're probably looking at this and thinking what on earth has just happened and essentially what we've done is we've we've grouped together certain plots so we've got the point 0 and 40 which is here the next one we have is 30 and 72 so we have 30 72 there then we have 12 and 80, so we've got 12 around here, well 12 around there, and 80, and then it follows the pattern from there. So you, you're probably thinking, wow, that is a very crazy graph. And very true, it is. You could do something a lot more simple, uh, and you could just put, okay, well let's have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, and then similarly let's have 0, we'll have 1, 2, 3, and say 30. So what's happening here is we're doing it in increasing order, this is also an increasing order so we expect it to not have these random overlaps that we see but it's still very cool to show you that sometimes you may think you're plotting something that's going to be a very you know straightforward graph and it produces something as crazy as this. So we're going to rerun this and I'll show you what happens now. Perfect. So this is a bit of a nicer plot you must you know you, you might think uh, and we've just plotted you know the plots that we see that we've written here so perfect that's how you plot several different points in matplotlib uh, you can make it as crazy as the first one or you can make it as simple as this second example here let's say you don't want to join each of the lines let's say in the first example you don't want let's say in the first example so i'll just reverse everything that i've done and put the numbers back to what we had to begin with let's say in that first example you don't want the to be lines so you don't want it to look as crazy as what it is because let's face it that's pretty crazy and let's say instead you just want points here or here there are two ways that you can do that and i'll just show you that now so instead of a line and i'll just put this down a line graph we want a scatter graph so there's two ways that you can do this you can either say plt.plot and we'll have x y as usual and you can put a string in here and you can put O and you do it you do it with this string and you say O so now so now when I go to run this Python file notice we have a scatter plot how cool is that so that's one way of doing it so I'll say method one or you could have method two which is very simple you say plt and you say scatter and then you say x and y and then you say plt.show perfect so we'll run this again notice we have this one and then if we cross off this it gives us the exact same so if you have two different things so we've got plt.plot and we've got dot show and we've got dot show it will show whatever is above the show 
and similarly here it's going to show this okay cool so now we know how to plot line graphs for different points but also scatter graphs as well something that's really worth remembering and i'm going to write it here each numpy array has to has to be the same length and what that means is the number of elements in here has to be equal to the number of elements in here it has to be because watch what happens if i get rid of this here and we have a mis mismatch and i go to run it we'll get a big error and it'll say x and y must have the same first dimension one has shape six and one has shape five that's because this has six elements in here and this one has five elements in here so worth reiterating they must be the same length so that has been the video today i hope you enjoyed it if you want to support this channel even further then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos and also check out the donation page that's in the description box also if you could give this video a big thumbs up i'd really appreciate that and comment any questions you have in the comment section below thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next video